In simple terms, what is model checking? Model checking is a verification method that consists in comparing a model of a system we want to verify against some properties. So this means that the model describes the behavior of the system, the behavior in terms of states and transitions, and the properties uh, specify the expected behavior. So it's a comparison of a model against some desired properties. Could you explain your work on developing model checking into an effective verification technology? Yes, so the, the, the initial idea is, uh, is somehow naive because uh, uh, the idea was that uh, you want to verify a program, you will enumerate all the possible states of the program, and you build a huge uh, graph that uh, describes the behavior in terms of transition relations. And then, of course, you have algorithms, you develop algorithms to compare this model uh, with uh, the uh, properties. Uh, now, when we, the first time I, I developed the theory, essentially I worked on the algorithms and also the way we specify the properties formally. Uh, we had very slow computers and uh, the method did not scale up. This was the uh, beginning of the 80s, in fact. And then with the progress of uh, technology, we had uh, fast machines, and this allowed to push uh, the, the, the performance of the method uh, higher. And also we have developed uh, techniques that are not, uh, uh, that are symbolic, that do not need the enumeration of the states, of the state space, but they represent the uh, state space by formulas, by constraints. And this uh, has been a great, a great uh, uh, progress in the application of model checking. So we talk about symbolic model checking. And at that time, some companies that had uh, problems beginning of the 90s uh, with their systems uh, have adopted this technology. And what are some of the most interesting applications of this work? Uh, personally, I have applied uh, model checking to verify safety critical systems, avionic systems, uh, uh, space applications, satellite systems, also to verify protocols, uh, telecommunication protocols. And in the US, uh, other teams have uh, uh, applied uh, model checking to hardware verification, which was a very something very, very important for chip makers like Intel, for instance, and uh, also to some other kinds of uh, critical systems. But in the US, they started with hardware verification. What was your first exposure to computer science? My first exposure to computer science? Yes. Well, you have to say that uh, I studied initially electrical engineering. And uh, when I came here in uh, Grenoble, uh, I wanted to study physics, in fact, and, and, and theoretical physics. And then I had to, to, to work with a computer. It was my first encounter with a computer, and uh, I liked this very much. So I decided to, to quit uh, uh, the, 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 the doctoral work, the, the, the doctoral thesis I was preparing, and uh, decided to study uh, computer science. At that time, you can imagine that computer science was something, okay, not as involved and complicated as it is today. And what do you think is important when teaching computer science to young people? Today, uh, I think that uh, computer science teaching, of course, you need some theoretical background, but it uh, should not be just uh, programming just uh, because uh, many people believe that, uh, okay, being computer science be, means to be a good programmer. Of course, you should be a good programmer, uh, but uh, also you should understand a lot about uh, how systems work. And uh, personally, I have a lot uh, uh, work with systems. I, I, consider my, I consider myself as a systems engineer and uh, when you want to design a system, you should have a broader background. You should understand how hardware works, how operating systems, architectures, 
um, even you should understand uh, how systems interact with the physical world, okay, if you design embedded systems. So you need a broad culture. I don't think it's a good idea to uh, specialize. I mean, of course, being a good programmer is, is always something positive, but uh, having a broader background uh, gives you uh, a lot of possibilities uh, uh, to find an interesting job in particular. I think, yes, so AI is becoming very important and the challenge is, of course, uh, how to combine, how to integrate AI techniques and uh, traditional systems development techniques. And this is uh, a very, very challenging problem I'm currently studying. You've mentioned that um... You think that for, for a computer scientist, it's very important to be a good programmer as well. When you see large yeah. language models, how do you think this could maybe change in the few in the next years? Well, I think that uh, LLMs uh, allow uh, programmers to be more productive. But uh, if uh, you are a beginner, I would not advise a beginner to use LLMs <laughs> because he will become too dependent on LLMs. It's not a good idea. If you are a mature programmer, you can be assisted by LLMs. And LLMs uh, can uh, be of great help uh, in many uh, systems engineering tasks. Mm -hmm. But if you are a good engineer, because uh, uh, bottom line, you should uh, use your judgment to see whether the results, the information you get from LLMs is uh, make sense. Because in some cases, uh, you, you can have uh, some uh, uh, some fakes, you can have some uh, wrong uh, uh, wrong information. So you should be careful about that. Uh, however, for younger people, I would not advise to use uh, LLMs uh, uh, because it's very, very important for them to learn how to write programs, how to structure their thinking, okay? And mm -hmm. uh, if they... This is a personal achievement, okay? It's... it's uh, uh, it's it's uh, a challenge for a young uh, person to write how to structure uh, its thinking, his thinking, how to write uh, 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 code that is readable, how to design also software, which I, d I doubt that LLMs could help you uh, producing designs, okay, because designs are higher level uh, constructs. Um, so, uh, um, yes, we should be careful with that, okay?